What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is just about to be 6pm on Saturday. Um, if you guys missed yesterday's video, that's because I didn't upload it until about four hours ago. So go check it out. Uh, give my thoughts and feedback on the brand new Road to the Final promo. Uh, it was late. I apologize. I lost my internet. My bad. Um, what have we got? So nothing new in objectives or milestones no new active event i was just saying to my stream in general saturdays are pretty poor days aren't they for content and so i don't really expect all that much from today maybe one player sbc i saw it i saw it, it said messi ozil mate he had an sbc last year as like as well man they just Hold on, I don't know. We don't need to ask this question. But why do they just keep recycling the same players over and over and over? Now, leagues, hey, it'd be amazing if they did something here for a change. Nope. All right. So, Mesut Ozil is there. Before we go and have a proper look at him, is there anything else? The SBC's middle prime icon upgrade still there. Last minute SBC still there. Future Stars reunion pick still there. Against the Tide, Jumbo Premium Gold Players. Um, 80 rated, 9 rares, 95 chem, 4 clubs, 3 leagues max, 1 into all Liverpool. It's actually easy to put together. Just a, you know, a Premier League or Serie A squad and you are golden. Mark your matchups, Kochu or Rapsodori. So yeah, exactly as I expected. Just one of the daily SBC content type things and one player. But it is Mesut Ezil. Uh, he is playing in... Oh, I want to see his older cards. He is playing in... Uh, in Turkey right now, five star skill moves, three star weak foot. That's not awful, to be fair. He's got the flare trait, the finesse shot trait, and the outside the foot shot trait. Got decent stam. Generally nice dribbling. Very good short passing, very good vision, decent long passing. Shooting's okay, positioning is brilliant, pace is okay. I think an engine chem star might be the one for him. What is he going to cost? An 83 and an 85, I'd say. Oh, oh my days. That's really good value. An 82 with 75 chem and a German player for a small Electron Players pack. And then an 84 with 70 chemistry for a premium Electron Players pack. That is really good value. Let's jump on to FUT bin. I want to just see what... Uh, uh, last year, he had the foot birthday card, didn't he? Um... Let's see what he is compared to his current card. They've given him 24 acceleration and 28 sprint speed, uh, 13 agility, 16 balance, and 13 reactions, an insane shooting boost, and an insane physical boost, 36 stamina. Uh, I think they've upgraded his skill moves as well. Yeah, he's four star, two star, so they've boosted him to five star, three star. And uh, it's, it's very cheap. Now, I think an engine, yeah, get that agility and balance right up. Get that pace right up. Get that passing right up. Other than the shooting, which is still okay, especially with finesse shot trait, outside the foot shot trait, and flare trait. That is a superb, superb card. Now, I, I would just play an engine on him as well. Maybe, I don't know, Maestro is right for the long shots, but then you're a little low on agility and balance. Um, it is still a good, uh, a good, good, uh, good card there. Maybe a dead eye if you want that maxed out. No, I think... Oh, I do I do think either a maestro a hawk could be quite interesting a finisher could be quite interesting doesn't boost his long shots but gets his shooting and dribbling outside of that up to being massive I I still personally would go for the engine chem style yeah I would go for the engine um yeah let's let's have a look at his generations oh well why don't do that Last year, he got the 90-rated foot birthday card, which was 87 pace. So, hold on, let me take this off. 87 versus 88. 87 shooting versus 88. 90 passing the same. 93 dribbling, so we're down two. Same defending and more physical. This card is actually better than this foot birthday card. And this foot birthday card was very good. However, it was four-star, five-star. The previous year, he got a foot birthday card and a scream card. Another 90 rated on this one as well. 84, 85, 93. So generally better here apart from passing. 92 dribbling, 28, 70. Yeah, again, a bit better. But again, this one was four star, five star. 
They love giving Mesut Ozil a bit of a special card. Look at that. He got the Scream card back there as well. Uh, that Then back when he was actually performing well for Arsenal, got the team of the season. Uh, but yeah, that is what was there. Man of the match cards are out. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, my days. Oh, there's a lot of new players out. Then or here, you've got Lukaku, Dybala, Romero, Stones, Jota, Perisic, Cliver, Rafael Leal, Gray, Piontek, Gilmore, Fry, Olis, Campbell, Manone, Johnson, Deschamps, and Davidson. You know what? They're not actually that great. Romelu Lukaku. Now, the man of the match boosts his ones to watch up to a 91, which is quite nice. That will now go up. So, Bala 88. So, the Lukaku has 87 pace, 90, 77, 81. Yeah, so the, the man of the match is exactly the same as this current player card here. Um, Dybala, I would show you this, but I want, uh, I was, I'm hoping Footbin get it on. Dybala's giving him two pace, two shooting, one passing, one dribbling, and one physical. Oh, it's barely an upgrade. Yeah, do you know what? These really aren't that great at all. I can't lie. They're a bit disappointing. Look at that. I mean, I know this is a bit pixelated. Yeah, Justin Cliver, so he'll get an upgrade on his ones to watch. Yeah. But who cares, right? <laughs> I mean, really good pace and really good dribbling. Well, with the Dead Eye Chem style, what what is his uh what's his setup right now? Is he an 84 already, right? So Oh no, he's an 81, yeah. So he'll go up to the 84. With better dribbling and better pace, and then a dead eye chem style. He could be quite useful. So he's got 78, 73, 87. And then here, 83, 90, and 77. So he gets a big upgrade. Five shooting, three dribbling, and four passing. So with that, with that three dribbling upgrade, and that pace upgrade that he's got, a dead eye on him could actually make him super, super nice. Um, but yeah, Dybala's like bang average, Romero, bang average. I mean, I know that, you know, I know that they've chosen not to just boost people massively for no good reason. But I don't think, I, I think at this stage, you know, the back end of February, I think that when we get man of the matches and team of the weeks, we should now be, you know, getting a guaranteed minimum of them being 84 rated. So if they were going to be 84 rated anyway, then that's fine. But if they were going to be less than 84 rated, just make them 84 rated. I don't think anyone would be crying their eyes out in the slightest if this Davidson, Deschamps, Johnson, etc. were all 84s here instead. I think people in general would be much happier. Uh, Dabala's very good in game. Yeah, Dabala's only problem is his physicals. He's got real low stamina. His composure's not the best either. Um... He is a good card, though. You didn't see him much at the start of the year, even though it was uh, pretty good. But yeah, there you go. It's a, it's a shame, for some reason, Putbin do not have... Oh, Rafael Leal has the... Uh... Oh, is that Headliners? He won't get upgraded because of that, will he? Because the informs need to come and catch up. What is it? It's 81. Yeah, it's just going to sit in there. It's not going to actually impact it at all. Um, either way... Oh, Mr. Ozil from before... Either way, there's some new players. They just unfortunately don't have... Yeah, we haven't got the price on this Ozil yet. They just don't have uh, have them on. This is going to be cheap, man. This is going to be like 50k, 60k. I think it's good. Does Jota get upgraded? What card does Jota have? No, man. He, he, I mean, he only has a numbers up card. That won't get touched until EA upgrade the pace on the numbers up cards. Jota could be an interesting one as well, though. He's a bit, well, he's not even a bit. He's a fair bit behind the power curve, you know, which is a shame. But there you go. New man of the match cards, guys. Our first man of the match cards for FIFA 22. The uh, Mesut Ozil. What, what did Mesut Ozil got that? Got that? Get that card for. Play moments is stunning goal against Ludgretz in the 16-17 season. Fair enough. And so it's a, a Champions League themed one. But uh, that guy, or European themed one anyway. That guy's going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.